I did hut building yesterday and that was really good. We um, had a fire and we put a tarp over and filled in the gaps with willow. Coming here I really feel like I'm, I'm getting a taste of what being an archaeologist is all about. I mean, there's only so much you can read in books and stuff, and then, but actually being hands-on I feel really good about it. Experimental archaeology is sort of what it says in the tin in that you try to recreate the conditions of the past and see if it's still something we can do and how our predecessors would have done these activities. So things like, is it still possible for us as modern humans to pull down a tree with a hand axe? The answer is usually no. <laughs> I think it has been a very influential thing for all of our students in as much as they start their degree by learning something about past technologies, about technologies that they may know about from books but they've never experienced for themselves. So they have a chance to actually think through what are the materials, how does the technology work. So we're just crushing up some iron ore, getting it ready to pump it into the uh, furnace to smelt it, yeah. Iron smelting in this case is a, it's like a solid state process, which I didn't know before. I just sort of keep the bellows going and um, sort of keep a constant airflow and hopefully, after much fun, um, you get a finished result. A kind of point of the activities is then to see what is actually left over because as archaeologists it's actually all that we can actually find. We don't actually know what they did but we can find out what they did through the remains that are left over on the site. Um, sorry, you lost charcoal in it. Sorry. Yep. It's already sort of let us know how we're supposed to think, what questions we should ask, what we can already tell from things that we find. So that it has been a, like a good preparatory course, I think, for the year. Is he sharp? That's colour as well. The things you take from it are really like, it's your first experiences at uni and it's your first experiences together and it really helps to build everything. So Primtech is so essential for our archaeological degree. We met these guys a couple of days ago when we had our first kind of introductory lectures, but it feels like I've known these guys for years. <laughs> I was expecting to be tired all the time and wanting to sleep, but I'm, so I've done two activities so far and I can't wait to do three more. So. <laughs> Beth, yeah, I think. Yeah.